Welcome back everybody. So my next movie review for you is Extraction. So Extraction is a Netflix original movie that was released on the 24th of April 2020. Its director is Sam Hargraves. It was made on a budget of 65 million US dollars. The cast in this movie is quite impressive and there is going to be some names in this cast list that I am not going to be able to say but I'm going to try anyway. So I'll start off with the ones that I can say. So, other people in the cast of this movie consists of Chris Hemsworth, we've also got Sam Hargraves, we've got David Harbour makes an appearance. Uh, here we go, um, I'll try at least one of them, I've got them all written down, written down here. It's Randeep Huda, or Huda, I want to say, and Matt and Jack. <laughs> I've been trying to say these names for about 10 or 15 minutes before doing this movie review. I failed then, I failed now. I don't think I'm going to be able to say them, so I do apologise if I can't pronounce these names. So, Extraction Movie follows a mercenary in the form of, who's being played by Chris Hemsworth, who is hired to basically help or get back a drug lord's or a mafia's boss's son from another mafia boss's kind of mafia kind of organisation in India or Bangladesh, in that kind of area. This mission is already going to be proven to be quite tough and this mission basically becomes a, more and more like it's impossible towards the end of this movie. Now, where do I honestly begin with this movie? I didn't see any reviews of this movie before I watched it. I would be wanting to watch this for about a week and this afternoon I finally got to watch it and Yes, I am entertained by this. This is not the greatest movie in the world. I'm not going to lie to you, but it is still a very, very entertaining watch for many reasons. Now, the only I say this is an entertaining watch because if you're looking for some good action or some good fight scenes in this movie, you get this in this movie quite a lot throughout most of this movie i have to be honest it's got this kind of high octane kind of feel to this it's constantly always on the go there is a slower part of this movie which i will get into in a moment but as a whole as an entertaining kind of action movie it it, it does deliver quite well to be fair story wise it's not hard to follow again they set this out Pretty early on, early on in the movie. One of my bugbears of this movie is the fact that it is mainly focused around the action and the visual shots, the fighting, and all that kind of stuff. But don't get me wrong, there is a storyline in this, but it's very rarely touched on. So for instance. And if you've seen my movie reviews before, I'm always one for getting kind of character development in movies. I really enjoy that. I like to hear people's backstories or characters' backstories in this movie. And you have to wait near enough a whole hour, if not over, before you get that. And, okay, fair enough. It was well placed, but it, for the first hour, it just felt like there was no story to this. It was just all about the action, which I'm not complaining about. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I just, I'm a person that just enjoys to get to know the character very, very early on, very early on in a movie, but yet they wait quite a long time to actually do this. Like I said, it doesn't make this a bad movie. It's just I had to wait a long time to hear this person's backstory. The main character in the form of Tyler Rake, who is basically being played by Chris Hensworth, who is this mercenary, who is this ex-Special Forces soldier, who just does this mercenary work to just gain money and just to make money. He is a badass in this movie. He gives absolutely no shits and he has no fear in any way, shape or form. There is a reason to this as well, which I am not going to say in this movie review in case you haven't seen it. But all I can tell you, he is absolutely badass. And you get to see this very, very quickly in this movie. Extremely quickly how fearless this guy is. How much this guy will willingly take a bullet and not blink an eyelid. It is just that simple. He will go into danger and have absolutely... No fear 
in any way, shape or form. And I generally really do like his character in here, in this movie. I really, really do. Like I said, you don't get a huge backstory to him to about an hour in, which I'm not going to mention, to be fair, because then after that point, you do actually grow this kind of emotional attachment to him. And I don't want to give it away because it is reasonably new, this movie, and I didn't, just do not want to give it away for anybody. Visually, this movie is absolutely fantastic. The style and tone of this movie is set out from the start of this movie, to be fair. Action sequences in this movie are absolutely on point. The fight choreographing just alone in this movie is absolutely fantastic. Now, we all know that Chris Hemsworth, Chris Hemsworth is physically fit. You can see it. You've seen it. You've seen his training regime, say, like, for Avengers. And I'd say that this movie probably was more demanding for him. And you can just see it because the action sequences in here are adrenaline-rushed action sequences. And trust me, they are. The fight choreograph in this is absolutely fantastic and the other thing about this movie that i seriously do enjoy is it does not rely heavily on cgi either not heavily there is cgi in here a lot of this is live action kind of st good old-fashioned stunt work with some absolutely fantastic kind of fight sequences in this and i really enjoy that first hour because you are on that edge of your seat kind of scenario because it is constantly going these guys, there's a couple of guys in here that take an absolute beating. And, you know, this Chris Hemsworth in here, he takes a hammer in in certain parts and yet he still manages to get up. To the point you go, okay, in real life, would you actually get up from that? Yeah, you probably wouldn't, but I don't care. It's just an entertaining watch, to be fair. I just enjoyed those sequences. They're quite fast. I love the camera work that was in with this. I like the tone. I like the colouring in this movie as well. It just had something about it. It, was, it had a very dark tone to this as well. It is violent, okay? It is. Some of the death scenes in here are very, very violent. He uses his whatever's handy to basically take on anybody he has if he hasn't got a gun he hasn't got a knife he finds other stuff to use it's just fantastic the way they do this Stuart like I said I could go on about the action sequences for a long long time because I seriously I've been craving a movie to come out recently which has good action in this like suspenseful high obtain kind of action and this one actually kind of does it does deliver as well and I just particularly just enjoyed it myself and these are my own personal opinions I'm sure there's probably people out there that have watched it and probably don't think the same but for me it was enjoyable I enjoyed it the first hour was absolutely fantastic like I said there is a slower moment in this movie but this is where you get the character development or his backstory in this movie which you do get and you do grow a bit of an attachment to him which then leads on to the last part of this movie which is a big fight scene which is on a bridge and i am struggling not to say anything <laughs> about this movie or give anything away because i really generally want you guys to watch it and then come back and tell me what you think for me everything about this movie yeah, it was suspenseful it was full of action it was fast running i loved some of the camera shots that they were doing it was like constantly with them it was fast but it was not there wasn't too much going on that you couldn't understand exactly what's going on it was a rate which you could follow there are some some movies out there which action is going on and you just there's so much going on that you can't actually follow it this there is a lot going on but you can actually follow what you can follow this movie very very easily and you don't get confused you don't you know there are faults with this movie i can't deny it some of the things that happen in this you go in real life that you wouldn't be getting up from that but generally as a whole it's just an entertaining watch performances wise in this movie i generally like chris hemsworth in this he is an action star in this one he is I like the even the smallest kind of comedic moments in from him in this moment in this movie, just to add a, just a tiny little bit of levity in this movie. Just I really really enjoyed it. They're not like comedic moments where you'll laugh, but there's they'll just put a smile like a small smile grin on your face. They're not enough to make you go, oh my god, 
because it'd be completely out of context of what they're trying to do or show you in this movie. I, th I could go on about this movie. I did generally enjoy this. It's not the best movie. It's not absolutely amazing movie. But it, for me, it's a very, very entertaining watch. With probably an ending which has still got me slightly baffled now. Which I'm definitely not going to tell you. It's still got me a little bit baffled. I don't know how really to take that ending. But I just... It was one of them. I, I, I can't say anything because I don't want to give it away. If I was to rate this movie, see, this is a difficult one. I would either give this, I think I would give this a seven and a half, maybe eight out of ten. Okay. Like I said, for me, I like the character development very, very early on in the movie, um, or quite quickly at the beginning of the movie, so I can get that emotional attachment. They do wait quite a long time. There is a reason for this. And it does get explained, but for me, I it's just, this is just my personal thought. I just generally like that in most movies, but in this movie, it's understandable why they left this an hour. So there are the little small little problems with this movie. There are certain bits in here where you go in real life, you probably won't get up after that. So it, it is slightly unrealistic in certain places, but. As a whole, majority of the film is still an entertaining watch, and I was pretty much at the end of this movie. I felt like I was entertained, and hence, hence the reason why I will give I will give it a seven and a half, maybe eight out of ten. It's as simple as that. So, if you've seen this movie, please tell me what you think. Put it in the comments down below as normal. I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Whatever you're doing, please take care and goodbye.